Welcome to ZTEC University. This is the orientation guide reporting return field admission package and original certificates to the registry or said scanned high resolution copies to records at zitec.ac.ke. Upon submission, you will receive a confirmation through email or in person to proceed with the fee payment. The pay at least 50% of the fees through the bank or MPESA pay bill number 303072 with your admission number as it appears on your admission letter as the account number. Submit the photo of the bank slip or the MPESA message to this number. The amount paid will reflect on your student portal after 24 hours and you can only register the units after the amount paid has reflected on your student portal. You will receive a confirmation SMS with your student email account and e-learning account details. For all other inquiries, call or SMS this number. Student portal access, the normal way you log into your private, uh, private Gmail, just enter the ZTEC email, then enter the password. And after you log in, you'll be prompted to change the password, enter the new password and confirm that new password. I advise you use a simple password. After you log in for the first time, this is how the ZTEC email will appear. To create the student portal, enter portal.zetech.ac.ke on your browser, and then you click enter. When you enter, that's what uh, will appear. And because it is for the first time, create the account. You're creating the account as a student and therefore select the role of a student. Enter your student admission number there, then enter the password and confirm the password. After you create the account, you'll get a notification that registration is successful. If you go back to your ZTEC email, there will be an email that you have received from ZTEC University to confirm account creation. Open that email and then click on confirm account. This is to confirm account creation. You will get that notification that your account has been verified and therefore you can enter the student admission number and the password you have used to log into the student portal for the first time. After you log in, this is how the student portal looks like. The homepage, you're able to view your fee balance. I'm, I'm going to take you through the other items on the portal, reporting. You'll be clicking on this button at the beginning of every semester to report yourself for a new semester. So after you click on reporting, then click on report now so that you can confirm reporting. Fees, this button, you'll be able to get the fee statement, confirm the amount that you've been paying and also to also confirm the fee structure. You may wish to know the amount that you're going to pay for the following semester. This is where you'll be generating the fee structure from. Under units, you'll be using that button to register the units. And for example, if you're in year one, semester one, this is how you're going to register your units. To register for your units, what is expected of you, you need to check those small boxes as shown there. So I'm registering the units for year one, semester one. Have all the box checked for the units that I'm taking for that particular semester and then click submit, register units. Under examinations, you'll be generating the examination card at the end of every semester or using that button, examinations, and then exam card to generate the examination card. 
on the same, the end of every semester after you sit for the final exams, you'll be accessing your results slips from this portal. So you'll be entering the academic year and then session ZDS access. Learning will be on face-to-face -face and online, what we call blended learning. The link to online uh, portal or e-learning portal is elearning.zitech.ac.ke. You'll be going to your browser and then you enter elearning.zitech.ac.ke. Then you click on digital school. After you log in, this is how your portal will appear. The difference between this portal and the other portal that the other portal have guided you on all the services that you'll be accessing or you'll be getting from that portal. But this e-learning portal is specifically for learning purposes. So when you log in for the first time, this is where you'll be getting your dashboard. We call this page uh, dashboard, the home page, and you'll be getting all your units on this part here, course overview. I click on list, the units that I have registered will appear here, but for them to appear there, I'm supposed to click on synchronize my units. So after you register the units uh, on the other portal, the first thing you need to do when you go to, when you come to this portal is to synchronize my units so that the units can appear here below the course overview. On this same portal, if you want to know any updates, you'll be coming here at the news and announcements. This is where we'll be posting all the updates. This is like our notice board. Like here, I can be able to confirm that there are some updates that are shared here with the students and therefore frequently be visiting news and announcements. More information about this portal, you can access that using orientation to e-learning where you find uh, more details on the same, how to navigate through that portal. After I read my timetable and note that I'm supposed to be having a class, I'll be coming to my e-learning portal, come to this dashboard and then click on communication skills. When you open that unit, you find the lecturer having updated or given the introduction about himself or herself, given the introduction about that unit, shared a schedule of how the, the unit will be covered throughout the semester. And uh, the lecturer will have also shared the class attendance register because the attendance register uh, will be updated at the end of every uh, every session. And then on topic one, uh, you find the lecturer having updated the objectives, that topic, what you're to cover that day. And then the lecturer will have posted the link, the class link for you to join the class link. Like for example, here it is indicated, dear students, uh, click the the link below to join the class that was scheduled at this time. What is expected of you is to copy that password. Then after you copy that password, click on that link. There is somewhere to be requested. You enter it and then you join the session so that you can meet with your lecturer for the live session. The lecturer on the same topic will have posted the notes. If you click on those notes, they will download automatically uh, so that you can be able to read them offline. The lecturer will have posted other activities that you're going to also do during that lesson. Uh, that is the discussion questions. So the lecturer has posted this discussion forum so that you can discuss uh, some questions that he has posted there. Also on the same same topic, there is a class assignment that you have to do on the same same uh, session. And therefore, you're supposed to make sure that you attend to all those assessments that the lecturer has given you. The timetable will be shared at the news and announcements by the university timetable coordinator. And this is how you check your timetable. Assuming that I'm taking Bachelor of uh, Business Administration and Management, this is my timetable. And you note that on Monday, I have uh, the first class at 11, meaning because it has been assigned a room, these are face-to-face -face class. Again, this one, financial accounting, has been assigned a room, these are face-to-face -face class. But for online classes, they will be captured as online. Class attendance. 
the student should attend at least 75% of the classes to be allowed to sit for the final exam. The coursework, this will include all the assignments, cards as administered when learning, and a student must attempt all of them for you to sit for the final exam. The final exam, this is the ordinary exam or the end of semester exam. Thank you and welcome to ZTEC University.